Hey guys, welcome to another video of Code Wrestling and in today's video we are going to solve another competitive programming question that is related to tournament winner. So the question here is really very big so I'm not gonna read all of it but uh, I will show you that what exactly the question is. For now I will just explain you in a very simple and short term. So there is a tournament competitions going on. So they have given a sim sample input where we will have a list of all the competitions that, that are going on. So it's basically an array of array. So this is the first competition between HTML and C sharp. This is considered as a home team, the first element and the other element is considered as an away team. First competition is between HTML and C sharp, second competition is between C sharp and Python and third competition is between Python and HTML. The team which wins will get three points as a reward. So now we have results. So when we tell results, the first element is zero. Zero means away team wins and one means home team wins. So in the first case, when the first element is zero, that means for the first competition, away team wins. That means C sharp wins. So, so that's why C sharp beats HTML. So thus initially C sharp will have three points because the winning team will gain three points. Now in the next competition that is between C sharp and Python, so again zero wins. So zero wins means away team wins. So away team is Python. So now Python wins between C sharp and Python. So Python beats C sharp. And now initially Python will have three points. Okay. Now in the third competition, the result is one. So when result is one, that means home team wins. That means between Python and HTML, which team wins? Python. So Python beats HTML. So the count of Python will be three. That was initially plus again three while well, from beating HTML. So now the total point is three. So is the winner? Python is the winner. So that's what the question is. You can still go ahead and read the whole question to gain a more better understanding. So I'll recommend you to pause the video here and try to read the question by your own and solve it and then proceed further for the solution. Okay, so now let's try to understand its solution. So we have a function that is get winner, which basically takes uh, our competition and our result array or list, whatever you want. So here for the competitions, we have this is the array and for result, this is the corresponding array. So what we will do, uh, when you think about a competition where we have to maintain a score of each and every language like HTML, C Sharp and Python, the first thing that comes is dictionary. So in the dictionary, we can have a key value pair such that our key will be the team name that is HTML C sharp and we can store its value that how many points it has gained. So the first thing that comes is we will create a dictionary of key as a string and value as integer. Okay. And then we will have two flags. One is for storing the maximum value. So we at the end, we have to return that who wins. So we have to also keep a track of what is the maximum value. So initially, of course, we'll start with zero. So that's why I will initialize my max value as zero. And then we have max value key. So I also want to know that which one, which team won. So that's why I will just store a key as well. So we have three things. One is a dictionary that will keep a track of scores. And then we have of two flags, one is for storing the maximum value and another one is for storing the maximum value key. That means the team name. Okay, so now what we will do, we will loop over each of these results. So when I tell zero, that means for the first competition, away team wins. So whenever there is zero, that means we will take competition of zero of the last element that is one. So what I will do when we are looping, we will create an integer that is index. And this index will be basically the opposite of whatever the value is. So if result of the i that is our first element is equals to equals to zero, then we have to refer the index one. And if it is equals to one, then we have to refer index as zero. So like this, we will get that which index we have to prefer. We have to whether take a home team or we have we should take a bay team. After that, we will store the key. So which is the team that won the competition? So that's why we have we will have this i. So the i that is zeroth element will basically represent the zeroth element over here. First element over here represent this first competition over here. So that's why the i will be synchronized. 
So competitions of I of index that will give you the key. So for example, in the first element, when we tell zero, that means the key will be for zeroth element, we should take the last element that is C sharp. So that's why the key will be C sharp. So we will maintain a dictionary. So let me just write a dictionary over here and we will check whether the dictionary scores have any key named as C sharp. So if it does not have, then what you do, you just create another key as C sharp and store its value as three. But if it has, then we just add the value. So in this case, we didn't have any key. So this was the first element. So we just added C sharp over here and inserted its value as three. So that is the first statement that we accomplished. Now we'll check whether this score is greater than our maximum value. So initially this was just empty means this was just initialized. So now our maximum value is three and our key will be C sharp. So at this moment, when we just in iterated over the first element, what we can say that C sharp is winner. Okay. Now we will iterate again. Now our I value is one. So results of one. So results of one is zero. So again, we will point to one. So our index will become one. So competitions of one of one. So competition of one is C sharp and Python and one is Python. So between C sharp and Python, Python one. Again, we will check whether this key Python is present or not. So it is not present. So now what I will do, I will add my another key that is Python and I will initialize its value as three. So now again, we will check whether this maximum value whichever is, is, is greater than three or not. So it's not. So we will just retain the value. We will just keep that. Okay. Again, still there is a tie, but I will just tell that C sharp is the winner. I am not going to change it. Now uh, we'll go to the third element. That is the last element of results. That is one. So here index will be since result is not equals to equals to zero. So now we have to take the first index that is zero. So competitions of three of zero. So competitions of three is this and of zero is Python. So now our next key is Python. So is Python already there in the dictionary? Yes, it is. So what do you have to do? You take that key and increment it to increment it to plus three. So now my Python will be three plus three. That will that will be six. So now C sharp is three. Python is six. So at this point of time, our maximum value is six and the key is Python. So now do we have any other element left to iterate over? No, we don't have any ele other element. So what is the maximum value key? The maximum value key is Python. So hence Python is the winner. So here, if you talk about the time complexity, so we are just using a for loop. So the time complexity V will be of O of N. And when you talk about space complexity, so of course we have created a dictionary, but this dictionary will be of how many teams that are present in your competition. So as of now, there were just three teams, HTML, C sharp and Python. So we have represented it with O of K, where K is the number of teams. So it's very simple solution. What we did, we just created a dictionary to maintain the scores. And then we have created two flags, one to maintain the maximum value, another one to maintain the maximum value key. Then after that, what we did, we just iterate over each and every element, updated our dictionary and checked what is the last, what is the maximum value and maximum value key and then returned it. So it was a very simple question. If you want the whole code snippet, then you can uh, see it in the description. Thank you. Stay tuned with us. Do like, subscribe, share and comment. You can also write us at codewrestling at So happy learning. Thank you.